All right, howdy. This is Doug over at the Red Chip Poker Forums, and I wanted to answer a question by this Red Chipper, Big Owl. It really doesn't matter how we got there, because I'm not necessarily sure I'm convinced I like his line up to this point, but he's got Queen-10 in the big blind. It's a three-way pot. The flop comes down, Jack-9-7, giving him an open ender, and he check calls, so it's three to the turn, there's 195 in, he's still got his open ender, he misses on the turn, he checks, it's a $70 bet into 200, villain 2 calls, and now he has 435 in the pot and he's getting 70 to call, should he do this. The other two villains in the hand have 265 and 665. Well, this end up, ends up coming down to pot odds and implied odds. So let's take a look here. There is a flush draw out there, and it is possible that you could hit your magic card where you get, say, the eight of hearts. You make your nut straight only to be beaten by the flush draw. So we've got to worry about that situation. But let's just look at the six absolutely clean non-heart outs that you have here. So that's six outs using the rule of two. There are two of them. So you've got about 12% chance of hitting this on the next card. We're going to assume that you never win unimproved. I think that is a very reasonable assumption here. So that is 12% of the time you win which means there is 78% of the time that you lose. Divide that out, and that means there are six and a half losses for every win that you're going to get. So if you call right here for 70, that means you need to win 455 every time that you hit your clean out to at least break even. There's 435 in the pot, so you know we'll call this a break even. You can call, you can't call, it really doesn't matter. Now the question is what happens on those times that you hit your straight only for there to be a flush made? Sometimes it's not going to matter, sometimes you're going to get stacked. There's um, one guy with 265 and it's going to be really tough for you not to pay him off, I think. Unless you just say, whenever I make that, I'm going to check fold. Okay, a little bit nitty, but who knows. Um, now we have the implied odds that are on the good side for us. When we make those six outs, even though we're out of position, can we make any amount of money here? And I believe the way this is played out that you can extract some damage on those times you do hit your, your hand. So I say because this pot is bloating and they're making ridiculously small bets of 70 into 200, you're, um, you're getting your odds. So most of the time you're going to put that $70 in and lose. You just have to be okay with that. But every now and then you get a payday, and sometimes you get a very dicey situation where you hit the magic card that gets you to pay off the villain pretty handsomely for his flush when you hit your, um, when you hit your straight. All right, navigate this one well, and if you like this kind of thing, come to the Red Chip Poker forums and sign up here on YouTube.